Hey, we're nightmares. And you're watching Solus Music TV. What's up, guys? I'm here with Nightmares. Can you guys please introduce yourselves and your role in the band? Uh, I'm David, and I play drums. Uh, I'm Carter, and I sing in stuff. I'm Jimmy. I play guitar. Uh, I'm Smith, and I play bass. So you guys are on tour with Issues right now. How's that going so far? Pretty, uh, pretty awesome. Um, one of the best tours I've been on club tours ever. Mm -hmm. Like greatest dudes, greatest people in the whole package. So, yeah. what do you think? Oh, uh, we definitely had a rough like three tours leading up to this, and this is like by far our favorite tour so far. It's only like seven, eight dates in, and uh, the crowds have been insane. Uh, the reaction's been awesome. You know anything? It's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's been my favorite so far. Yeah, uh, I think uh, we've met a lot of really cool people on this tour, and, and uh, we're stoked to finish it off. So you guys have the song In the Mouth of Madness, which you shot a music video for, featuring Tyler Carter. How did that collaboration come about? Um, we, uh, it was about, the song's almost like about two years old, and we recorded two songs, and uh, one of them was Suspir in that one, and we showed him it, and he was like, yeah, let me jump on it. So it was pretty easy. All we had to do was give him a ice cream cake and then he was down so and then he that shoot lasted about three days long just like due to like where we were trying to shoot it at and he was like nice enough to hang out all three days it's like 7 a.m. so it was fun it was a good time a lot of sleepless nights for sure so you guys are a fairly younger band why should people listen to you if they haven't heard of you they shouldn't no, I'm just kidding um, well I don't know. I guess our demographic is the younger crowd. So, I mean, I don't know. I really, I guess, why wouldn't they listen to us? Uh, I think it's just, uh, it's, um, the work that we just put out is pretty honest. And uh, if you just want to kind of feel something, there's that there. there. We have, like, a lot of darker stuff that we don't play live. And it's, like, a lot slower. And those are the songs I think a lot of people should check out. Um, but it was over about two years. Like that's how long it took us to write the record. So we all went through a lot, and I think you can kind of tell and feel like what we went through during that period of time. That's why I think you should check it out. Right? Yeah. Can you quickly go through like some of the lyrical concepts on your debut album? Yeah, yeah. Um, we have every song on the record is like based off like a horror movie. And uh, instead of like a um, like a uh, obnoxious, everybody kind of knows one like a carry or some bullshit like that. It's a uh, it's more of like a underground kind of horror flicks. And uh, we either some titles like match with the song behind their meaning, some didn't. Like the only one that really comes to mind is like Enter the Void. It's a um, weird movie. It's on Netflix and it's a POV. So it's it's like the point of view of this guy and he dies within 10 minutes and the rest of the movie he's just floating watching life how it is after he's dead so I took the concept of like the first verse is just kind of like like I mean you're dead but <laughs> it's like realizing that <clears throat> the people like you went out of your way to impress and spend all your time and effort and they just didn't give a shit about you just not caring that you passed away and then the second verse is basically about the people that you know loved you and you cared about but you just didn't put any time and effort into and now you kind of just regret it so that's a, I think that's the only other one, except for, we have this song called Irreversible, and it's just about, kind of the same thing about being dead, and just being like, well, fuck, it's like all about being dead, no, just kidding, it's a morbid, yeah. So, can you tell us one misconception about being on tour? Uh, it's easy, not easy. Just keep doing it. Um, yeah, um, that everybody's always showered, everybody smells good. That it's always a party. It's not always sometimes. Although sometimes this tour has been kind of a party, but uh, yeah, I think that's it. A lot of people are like, oh, yo, crazy night, and he's like, nah, I'm actually like watching Netflix with my boy Will and doing nothing. So that's sad, but it's true. Yeah, um, basically like what they were saying. It's everybody thinks like it's like just all fun but there's so much behind the scenes stuff that goes on i mean you have to think about every single night you're playing a show and something can happen any night you play a show like you know technical difficulties or whatever you know there's there's always stress on tour like broken trailer. yeah broken trailer there's there's one tour we did where we went through eight trailer tires because the axle has been yeah. it's stressful but i mean it's it's ultimately worth it in the end what do you guys say is your favorite part about touring favorite part about touring is probably, I don't know, I like the hangs, meeting new people, networking yeah. and whatnot, you know. 
uh, meeting you know bands like Marmosets and Ghost Town and all those guys are awesome. Love those guys. What about you? Um, I just like playing like what we have and stuff like that, and just meeting new people. Same thing, I guess. But especially like bigger tours, uh, getting your music out there to like a broader audience is kind of cool. So it's definitely addicting. At first, you kind of just uh, you like towards the end of it, you want to be home, and then once you're home, you're like, well, fuck. So that's basically it. Same thing. Yeah, basically. Uh, I think I think my favorite part is definitely the food. Um, I know it sounds weird, but it's it's cool being in so many different places, and every place is like famous for something, you know, something different. So we literally make a point to go try what's big in every single city. So it, it's awesome. I mean, there's some good things, and there's been some bad things, but ultimately, it's, it's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> poutine's the, poutine's the shit. So what kind of influences did you draw like from ba different bands before starting Nightmares? We kind of were all over the place until we decided like what we wanted the record to sound like, and then uh, we started listening to a lot of Norma Jean before we went recording in that, and then uh, the whole idea for a horror movie concept came from just because uh, we were on binge, we were binge watching in the studio when we were writing stuff, and I remember watching Insidious and all these other movies where the scoring was insane, and I was like, why the fuck is this not going on? So I think that's what we just incorporated to, and just have like a lot of weird riffs here and there, and yeah, yeah right. Wrong, right? Yeah. Um. So, what are your plans for 2015? Any like tours coming up? You can talk about any new music, possibly. Um, we are writing. We've been writing ever since like the record came out, and so I think we're gonna work on music in January and hopefully have a, a tour lined up in uh, early 2015. So, nothing set in stone yet, but that's our. Yeah. So. Any last words you guys want to say to your fans? Come out, hang out, a lot of fun. We're going to be playing a lot of weird shit. Marmosets is out here. We're doing big things. Yeah. But <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. Come see Nightmares on the Issues Tour.